Yesterday I was able to use Facebook Live and walk around the orchard, and unfortunately I wasn't able to see the question that was posted while it was going, but maybe next time I'll bring a person and we can walk around and I, maybe I can field questions on the fly as you have them. And I'll try to give a notification so you can prepare and maybe have a few minutes to watch. In the meantime, I was out mowing the orchard and using my old lawnmower, I use that for my close work here. I mow around this and then I do a swipe each side of this to get about an 8 to 10 foot wide swath. These are the trees that have reached 6 foot and higher so that I don't have to worry as much about the deer browsing the tips off. April 27th, 2017. We're two days before the wild American turkey opening day here in Pennsylvania. I'm working on mowing the orchard here. Still not mowing the entire floor, as I don't expect gigantic production, but I do expect a few nuts this year. So I'm mowing about an 8 to 10 foot swath here. Got them up above deer browse height, so this should come in looking real nice in the next couple mowings. Bit of a storm rolling in, the trees are just leafing out. We're about two weeks ahead of normal schedule, so hopefully, we don't get a late frost that hammers my poor baby chestnuts. If you look inside here, just you can get a sense you can see that green right here by my thumb. Inside this microclimate of the tube, the trees have already leafed out. But you look at the tree otherwise just above where the it's not down in there and the tree is a little farther behind it's just a big bud coming out but as you remember in the last video a couple weeks ago I had fertilized these trees two-thirds of the amount of fertilizer for the year with a goal of 18 inches of growth per year so that was supposed to be right before bud swell so I think we got it on there perfect timing next steps are going to be to fill in where we got a few dead ones I got those at home I'll be bringing those out here in the next couple weeks getting them stuck in and if any of you guys have any ideas on orchard management on tree identification or ways that you keep track of trees I'm happy to hear those ideas because I'm still doing pen and paper pencil and paper and that gets a little complicated and I take pictures of it, but I'd hate to have to recreate it off of an old picture. It's a great day, the wind's blowing, the clouds are getting dark. I'm gonna tuck old beat up Johnny in the, uh, in the barn and head on home. Hope you guys have a great day.